Hi Realtors, it's Jennifer Ressman with Social Media Management for Realtors. I wanted to talk to you about Instagram today. If you aren't already on Instagram or you're thinking about getting on there, maybe you have a, a little bit of presence on there but you're thinking about expanding it because you know how great Instagram is, this is going to be a great post and a great video for you. I just wanted to let you know a few facts first that Instagram it, it has about 800 million users every month which is amazing 800 million so there's got to be some clientele out there for you to attract there's 500 million plus daily users so you know so many people are on there that you're bound to find a community that you are interested in in socializing with in sharing your houses and your services with. So I, I'm going to read a little bit more on um, my cheat sheet I have here so I don't forget all the stuff I want to tell you but I'm going to tell you a little bit and then feel free to read the post because I don't, I'm not going to tell you everything that's written there. So 71% of people are on, excuse me, Americans are on Instagram. That's really exciting. 71%, that is a lot of people that you can uh, target. Of course, you're going to, you know, narrow it down to the people that are, are most appropriate for you in your niche, but 71 is a lot of people. A third of those people buy stuff directly on the site and posts that include a hashtag gain a lot more engagement than if you don't. And another tip is if you include your location, that's a great booster for your engagement. So maybe you already know what Instagram is used for, but I'm just going to go over a little list for you so you can socialize on there and just have a good time. You can follow your, your friends and see what everybody's doing. I recommend you have a social separate personal Instagram uh, account for that, which is fine. And you might even get business off of that once they know what you do. Uh, socializing allows you to follow specific people, but it also allows you to uh, contact people directly through that, uh, that account as well, which can really be handy. So you can keep that right in your, your feed, right in your account. So you can also do some shopping. But you can also um, do it for business, which is why we're here today. So you can start your account and you can start sharing the houses that you have for sale, the, the house uh, open houses that you're having, maybe you're having some events. You also want to include some behind the scenes type office stuff and things you do daily to help your clients. Because it's not just about opening the door and we all know that. There's events you need to go to and things you need to stay on top of. Stuff you might want to share with your, your prospects, your clientele, things that they want to know. So uh, let's say you're, you're ready. Maybe you don't have a, an account yet. You want to get that started and open a business account. So you might need to convert that. Maybe you've already got one kind of going already. Convert that. That'll allow you to track some analytics, give you some more information behind the scenes for your Instagram account. So if you haven't already done that, I listed something in the blog post for you to, to get that moving. It's relatively simple. And after you've done that, then, then you're going to want to um, read ahead. So after you've set up your page, got all signed up and everything, you want to start thinking about what you want to post. And I'm just going to read a little bit here so that I don't forget to include what I want to tell you. So a really good place to start about what you want to post on really anything but specifically on Instagram are questions that your clientele and prospects and maybe something you see online that you want to include in what you have to share drop some questions and start creating images and texts and posts around those questions. That can be really helpful to people. They're going to come to you for those answers. They're going to remember you're on Instagram. I can just click over there. She's got some good in input into these questions. Then you want to talk about why. Well, I'm sorry, what you have to offer. 
You can always include that with pictures of your office. Maybe you have some website stuff you want to share, your blog that you want to share, pictures of you, pictures of your uh, work day, that kind of thing. And remember your keywords. We've talked about this in my last post about social media and how important keywords are for searching for you, for ranking on Google, and how it's important that you can draw from your entire, your entire, you know, setup. Everything that is about you, your keywords represent that, and you can always pull from that for experience, for excuse me, for um, inspiration and to talk about those things that are important in your industry. So make sure to remember uh, to include some keywords in what you want to talk about. Then the exciting part, the houses. Always include the houses. Always talk those up. Those would be a separate post. And, and we'll talk about hashtags and what to put in those posts coming up in a sec. So then I would consider also including some great shots of the communities you're selling in, maybe some of the buildings and the businesses, maybe even some of the people, maybe you want to interview some of the people that are running some of those businesses. Those can be a really added boost to your page specifically because those are the smaller neighborhoods that you work in specifically. Okay, so let's next talk about hashtags and how those are awesome. Because hashtags, you might be familiar, maybe you're not. Hashtags are the little, you know, pound sign, and then you write some words after those, and you want to include a bunch of those into your posts so that people can reference you. So a lot of people will go and search for hashtags at the top of the Instagram account page at the top of their page and look specifically for people that are doing real estate in your area, real estate for the types of houses they're looking for, real estate because they know a friend of a friend. You know, they're going to be start they're going to start searching for hashtags specifically drilled down to what you have to offer. So you want to make sure that you have a nice list. You can base them off of your keywords again a nice list of hashtags, make a list in your phone or in your tablet that you can constantly refer to. One second. And go through those and you're going to include those in your posts. So a good way to think of it is, again, as a resource for other people to search for you. And I've given you some good examples of what you can include for your, for your hashtags. So read that over. Uh, they recommend you use about 11 hashtags right now as a, a good number to start with and list either in your post or you can start the next comment, excuse me, the first comment after you've written your post and include your hashtags there. It's a good way to separate them from your post. And a little bit about your post, you want to make sure that you include a lot of great information about, let's say it's just the house you're listening, uh, the area that it's in, keep it real specific and um, list some of the keywords about that house. You know, the type of kitchen, types of numbers of bathrooms, you know, similar to a listing. It's a great spot to showcase those. So let's talk about uh, a few tips and suggestions. Maybe something you haven't thought about yet, just getting into to, uh, Instagram, you want to consider video. It's a great easy spot to do it. You can even do it right in Instagram and you can give a nice tour of your house. You can give a nice tour of your office, a, a, a nice tour of your day, endless things you can do with video. Facebook, I mean, sorry, Instagram loves it. The people love it. You like to watch videos of other people's houses. You like to watch Instagram videos or YouTube videos about how people do things and how they conduct their day. Everybody wants to see those great info videos. You can include some sound, just talking, maybe a little music set to your, your house tour. Uh, and another idea for Instagram after you've, you know, explored that a little bit, maybe you want to start working on a theme. And a theme can be colors, a theme can be styles, that kind of thing. Um, working it into 
your platform so that you stand out as, oh yes, I, I recognize this realtor. I recognize this person. So um, while you've uh, written everything that you wanted to in your post, uh, you want to make sure that you also include a call to action, especially if it's a, um, a listing, a house listing. If it's, if it's a little bit more just about you, maybe you want to keep it light and not recommend to, to act on something all the time, but you do want to include those every time you list a house, I would, I would think. You should also double check before I forget with your rules and regulations and what you are allowed to do on, on Facebook, excuse me, on Instagram, because these can be serious implications when you haven't included the right information or if you've indicated something incorrectly, you want to make sure you have a good understanding of what your, your rules are, especially with your brokerage. So back to uh, what you can put in your caption, uh, you want to maybe even keep it amusing, something entertaining. Um, and you can consider also reaching out to people, which is can be really helpful. So you have a client that's on Instagram and you've found something that they might like, you can attach the at symbol if you're not familiar, and then the handle of what their Instagram account is listed as. And that will pull them, you know, that will give them a notification that you have something for them, which can be really handy. So another point is that you want to make sure you fill out that a top section with the, the bio area. So you only get so many characters and so much room, so try to fill that out well and specific to what you um, have to offer, that kind of thing, maybe your location. Uh, I've listed a little bit more for your, for your reading enjoyment over there in the, in the blog post. Okay, so, so that's a, a good start for your Instagram page. I'll give you a bunch of things to do and a bunch of things to think about. It it's, can only get better from there. So if you have any questions, please let me know. I do have a little printout for you at the bottom and you can click there and, and it'll give you a little PDF so you can, you know, like take it with you if you want to have a little something maybe in your purse or your wallet where you can refer to it and, and stuff that you want to post on Instagram for your account. So thanks for listening and tuning in today. If you have any questions, again, get in touch. I'm on Facebook. I'm everywhere. So touch base. Have a good day.